Hello, fourth graders. We are still working on the partial quotients division strategy today. Uh, we've done two digits in our dividends. We've done three digits in our dividends. And so today it's time to move on to four digits in our dividends. So please mark this title in the next page of your math notebook. After you have done that, unpause uh, with your pencil in your notebook, ready to think and concentrate fully on uh, the I do's. So, yesterday, we worked on problems like, I guess even if we're going to go back to the first day, um, we did two-digit dividends, like 86 divided by 4. And then yesterday, we advanced that up to 586 divided by 4. Let me remind you how that worked. Um, you'll remember, if possible, I tried to start <coughs> my partial quotients with a hundred or the hundred groups of four right off the bat and I can do that in this case because that four times a hundred is four hundred and that's less than my initial dividend so I could start and do a hundred excuse me I'm coughing a hundred groups of four right away and that knocked out a lot of my dividend um, right off the bat so now I can't do another 100 because 400 is way too much here. Um, so remember, I think I told you I, a lot of times I first think about 10, 20, 50, and 100. Um, I can certainly do 10. I can certainly do 20. I can actually even do more than 20. 4 times 20 is going to be 80. I might actually here even think out to like 4 times 30 or 4 times 40. 4 times 40 is going to get me done pretty quick, so I think I'm going to do that. 40 more groups of 4, that's another 160. Now I'm down to 26, and now I can figure out how many 4 is going to 26. That is 6 times 4, I think, is 24. 7 times 4 would be too much, 28. So I'll do 6 times 4, 24. No more groups of 2 I can make. I've been subtracting. And so, I did repeated subtraction 146 times, and I had two left over. That's just a reminder of how that worked with three digits. So today, let's advance it even farther. What if instead of 586 divided by 4, I did 4,586 divided by 4? Well, honestly, the method is not really any different, except this time I'm going to think about... Uh, a little different problem, 4,752 divided by 4. I think I probably meant to do the exact problem on the last page, but this is okay. So if I try to divide a number with 4 digits by 5, the first thing I can do, I can think not only of making a group of 100, because that would still take a really long time. If I only subtracted 400 from that, I would have to do that over and over and over and over again, which I could. But might be even faster to think about starting with a thousand groups of four right off the bat. Four times a thousand is four thousand. And you can see I get a long way through my four digit dividend by doing a thousand groups at the same time. Two, five, seven, one. So I've gotten a long way down, which is a big help. So I can't do another group of a thousand here. Four thousand is way too much. Um, so I'm going to start thinking of hundreds. could do 4 times 100. I could do 4 times 200. I could do 4 times 300. That would be 1,200. I think I can even do 4 times 400. 4 times 4 is 16. Two zeros from the 100. And so, yes, yeah, so that's going to be a pretty efficient way to do that. I'm going to do 4 times 400. That saves me a lot of steps. I could have done less and just done more more sets of this, but this is pretty fast. So I'm going to do 2, 5, 1, down to 152. Let's see. I'll maybe do like a 4 times 20 and get 80. Pretty good. 2... 15 minus 8 is 7. 72. Can't quite do another 20. Uh, I could do a 10. It's 
taking a lot of steps. And now that's four times eight, right? Is thirty-two? You come all the way there. And no remainder. So let's count up how many groups of four I made. I made a bunch. Looks like I made 1,000, 1,400, 1,420, 1,438 groups. 1,438 groups of four. Sure glad I didn't have to do repeated subtraction 1,438 times. Now, sometimes, as I've been, just like happened with us with the hundreds, sometimes I cannot start out with a group of thousand. It just doesn't work. And that's okay. Uh, I don't want you to think just because there's a four digit dividend, I can jump right to a thousand groups of seven. That's going to be just way too much. Seven thousand. Can't do it. So I'm going to have to think in terms of hundreds instead. So I could do seven times one hundred. I could do seven times two hundred. Ooh, look at this. I could do seven times three hundred and be pretty close. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do 7 times 300 makes 2100. And look at that. I get all the way down to 135 in one step. That was a good choice of, um, of groups right there, 300 groups. So let's see. That's probably a 7 times. Ooh, 7 times 20 is really close. So it's probably going to end up being like 7 times 19 or something. But I don't like to do 19s because I can't do those in my head. So I'll just do a 10. 20 is too much. So I'm stuck doing a 10. 70 minus minus. That's a 5. 13 minus 7 is 65. Not quite a 10. So I don't know how good you are with your 7s. If you know all your 7s, you can get real close to 65. You may not know your 7s past 5. Very well. Um, I do know 7 times 6 is 42, 7 times 7 is 49, 7 times 8 is 56, and 7 times 9 is 63. If you didn't know, and that's going to get me to the end, if you don't know your 7s and your 9s, don't worry about it. Just pick one you know, because look, I'm still going to end up doing 9 groups. I'll do 5, because most of you guys know your 5. 7 times 5 is 35. That leaves me with 30, and then you know 7 times 4 probably is 28. And look, I still did 7 times 9. There it is. I just did it in two steps. So if you don't know your 8s and your 9s, just don't do them. Do the, the, the tables you know and just make those groups. So don't, don't try to reach for something you don't know and make a mistake. You can always just do more times. All right. And so let's see, all together I made 310, 319 groups of seven. And I had two left over in my next group of seven. Two out of my 320th group. So not that different with four digit dividends than it was with three. You just start making bigger groups. Let's do a couple together. Um, and we do the same thing. We're going to do one where we can make a group of a thousand, and then we'll do one where we can't make. So here we go. We're going to do together this 3,625 divided by 2. So I wanted to start with one where I can do 1,000 groups. So this is 2 times 1,000 is going to be my first choice of step. Um, you could even probably do 2 times 1,500 if you are uh, super speedy on these things. But I'm just going to start with 1,000 because that's an easy... That's an easy multiplication. I like doing things with lots of zeros because it's, it's easy not to make a mistake for me. So 5, 2, 6, 1. All right. 2 times 500 seems like a good next one. That's an easy one. If you want to do it with 600 or 700, you could. Uh, I'm just going to do 2 times 500. Seems easy. Like I said, I like to do um, times tables where I'm less likely to make a mistake. 625. I recognize now that 2 times 300 will get me pretty close to 625. It'll get me 600. Down to 25. And then I know that 2 times 12 is 24. 
and now I'm done. Down to one. I can't make any more groups of two because I don't have two left. So I made 1,500, 1,812 groups of two, and I had one left over toward my next group of two. That'd be good fit. So that's one where we can start with 1,000. This one over here we will not be able to. 5,345 divided by 8. Not going to be able to do a thousand. If I tried to do eight times a thousand, I get eight thousand. Way too much. So I'm going to start thinking about my hundreds choices. I can do like eight times one hundred, eight times two hundred. Depends how well you know your eights. I usually think one, two, and five. And actually, eight, yeah, eight times five hundred is going to be pretty good. So I think I'm going to start there. You don't have to start there. But that's where I'm going to choose, because that's an easy one for me to do. You could do more than 500. I think 600 um, would certainly work, too. But I'm going to do 500. 8 times 5 is 40. And then I've got my two zeros on the end. Subtract 5, 4, 3, 1. All right. That looks like I can't do 200. is going to be too much, so I'm going to do a 100. 8, group 8 times 100 is 800. 5, 4, 13 minus 8 is 545. All right, now I'm down to kind of thinking in tens. 8 times 50. I like to think 10, just like I did 100, 200, and 500. Now I might think 8 times 10, 20, and 50. 8 times 50. Should get me 400. 8 times 5 is 40. 1, 0. 145. Uh, 8 times 10. Lots of steps on this one, huh? Can I do 8 times 20? No, 8 times 20 is going to be too much. 8 times 10 is 80. 5 and 14 minus 8 is 65. And I know my 8's pretty well. If you don't, I would stop at 8 times 5 and do an 8 times 5 next. I know my 8's well. 8 times 8 is 64. And so I can do that pretty quick. Um, if you wanted to do like 8 times 5 and then 8 times 3, you would get the same thing. All right, how many groups did I make? 500, 600, 650, 660, 668 groups of 8, and 1 left out of my next group. Please, 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 if this is still kind of uh, shaky for you, go back through this again after you've written these down. Um, pr try doing the I do's or the we do's by yourself without, and then unpause and see how you did. Um, try to come to class tomorrow with a really good idea of how this works. I really like this division strategy, as you can tell, since we've been working on it for three days. So I really want it to make sense to you and for you to be comfortable dividing pretty big numbers by today. You know, numbers out to the thousands um, is a pretty good feat. So if you need to go back and do this again or whatever you need to do to be comfortable when you get to class tomorrow, please do. And I will see you then. Good night.